where in the world did this information come from? How did it get there in the first place? Because the information, as we're going to see, is absolutely enormous and complex. I mean, you could have 150 of those amino acids in just a regular protein. That's just a short protein. You could yeah. have 1,000 or more in the bigger proteins, and they've all got to be arranged in the right order. So what are the theories that are being proposed here to answer the question, how did this start off? This is the question that fascinated me because I became intrigued with what I call the DNA enigma. The enigma is not what does DNA do? Uh, we know that, but the question is where did the information that DNA stores, where does that information come from in the first place? And there have been a number of completely naturalistic or materialistic theories that have been proposed, and they've been kind of nicely summarized by a, a, a French scientist. His name was Jacques Minot. He wrote a book in 1968. He was one of the colleagues of Francis Crick with the co-discoverer of DNA. And, uh, and Minot wrote a book saying that if you're going to be a scientist and you want to explain something, you've got some basic approaches to explanation that you need to, to, to try or to stick to. One is to rely on chance, on random uh, variations of some kind. Another is to rely on what he called necessity, which is a kind of a scientific code word for for relying on natural laws. If I drop a ball and it falls to the earth, well, a scientist would say it falls by necessity according to the law of gravity. And Minot said there's also a third approach which combines r chance variations with law-like processes of necessity. That's kind of what Darwin did in combining natural selection and random variations. And he said that's, a, that's an acceptable scientific approach too. So if you're addressing the question of the origin of life from a naturalistic or materialistic point of view, you want to explain the origin of life by either chance necessity or the combination of the two. And as I investigated the DNA enigma, I kind of followed that logic and, and said, okay, how have those different approaches to explaining the origin of information fared? Have they been successful in accounting for this great mystery? Or is the mystery even deeper than we maybe realize? And uh, I, I came to the latter conclusion. This has been an ATRI production.